the farmer, Kasakasuta, Simutanakaya, 4.19. Near Sabati. Now, at that time, the Blessed One was instructing, urging, rousing, and encouraging the monks with a Dhamma talk concerning unbinding. The monks attentive, interested, lending ear, focusing their entire awareness, were listening to the Dhamma. Then the thought occurred to Mara, the evil one. Gotama, the contemplative, is instructing, urging, rousing, and encouraging the monks with a Dhamma talk concerning unbinding. The monks, attentive, interested, lending ear, focusing their entire awareness, are listening to the Dhamma. What if I were to go to Gotama the Contemplative to obscure his vision? Then Mara the Evil One, taking on the form of a farmer with a large plowshare over his shoulder, carrying a long goad stick, his hair disheveled, his clothes made of coarse hemp, his feet splattered with mud, went to the blessed one and, on arrival, said, Hey, contemplative, have you seen my oxen? And what are your oxen, evil one? Mine alone is the eye, contemplative. Mine are forms. Mine is the dimension of consciousness and contact at the eye. Where can you go to escape me? Mine alone is the ear. Mine are sounds. Mine is the dimension in con of consciousness and contact at the ear. Where can you go to escape me? Mine alone is the nose. Mine are smells. Mine is the dimension of consciousness and contact at the nose. Where can you go to escape me? Mine alone is the tongue. Mine are tastes. Mine is the dimension of consciousness and contact at the tongue. Where can you go to escape me? Mine alone is the body. Mine are feeling. Mine is the dimension of consciousness and contact at the body. Where can you go to escape me? Mine alone is the intellect, contemplative. Mine are ideas. Mine is the dimension of consciousness and contact at the intellect. Where can you go to escape me? Yours alone is the I, evil one. Yours are forms. Yours is the sphere of consciousness and contact at the eye. Where no eye exists, no form exists, no dimension of consciousness and contact at the eye exists. There, evil one, you cannot go. Yours alone is the ear, evil one. Yours are sounds. Yours is the sphere of consciousness and contact at the ear. Where no ear exists, no sounds exist, no dimension of consciousness and contact at the ear exists. There, evil one, you cannot go. Yours alone is the nose, evil one. Yours are smells. Yours is the sphere of consciousness and contact at the nose. Where no nose exists, no smells exist, no dimension of consciousness and contact at the nose exists. There, evil one, you cannot go. Yours alone is the tongue, evil one. Yours are tastes. Yours is the sphere of consciousness and contact at the tongue. Where no tongue exists, no taste exists. No dimension of consciousness and contact at the tongue exists. There, 
evil one. You cannot go. Yours alone is the body, evil one. Yours are feeling. Yours is the sphere of consciousness and contact at the body. When no body exists, no feelings exist. No dimension of consciousness and contact at the body exists. There, evil one, you cannot go. Yours alone is the intellect, evil one. Yours are ideas. Yours is the dimension of consciousness and contact at the intellect. Where no intellect exists, no ideas exist. No dimension of consciousness and contact at the intellect exists. There, evil one, you cannot go. Mara, of what they say, this is mine. And those who say mine, if your intellects here contemplative, you can't escape from me. The Buddha, what they speak of isn't mine, and I'm not one of those who speak it. Know this, evil one, you won't even see my tracks. Then Mara the evil one, sad and dejected at realizing, the blessed one knows me, the one well gone knows me, vanished right there.